first day of the show. Um, interesting night last night. Uh, it's uh, just settling down to go to sleep about nine o'clock and had a knock on the door. It was the uh, security manager who'd been sent by the health and safety manager to tell us that we were too close to the van next door. As some of you know, there's supposed to be a six metre gap between vans on campsites. Uh, and I think we were all about four metres apart. So we've been told that we're going to have to move. And I'm going to have to move over here. We said, can we park in one of the lanes next to the RV? Well, these are roads, aren't they? I don't know where we're going to get our electricity from. This is obviously the show part of it. We were told not to park on the yellow lines, obviously, because you've got show vans there. Yeah, some of these are not exactly six metres apart, are they? Yeah, here we are. Yeah. Three, four, we're about four metres apart, I suppose. So we've moved up here. I think we're far enough away from anyone now. Uh, yeah, probably a couple of metres between us and the nearest van. Hmm, should do. Now, in all seriousness, um, this was the nearest electric point we could find. Uh, there are some electric points up there, but there are cables across the, across the road and uh, I don't know if we're allowed to plug into what looks like a multi-wave uh, cable. <laughs> well, Jenny just says, go and see if that toilet block is open over there. We'd have our own private toilet block. <laughs> anyway, it's about half eight. The show opens at half nine, so we might see if we can have a little wander around before the show opens. And that's Aileen going in. She's just gonna get set up. What a nice, nice morning this morning. Rain's gone, isn't it? Rain's gone, yep. Yeah. Gonna have a little look around before the show starts. Right. Yeah, so we've got look. First one to look at is an Auto Trail Tracker LB uh, 2020, 62,995. This looks like, is it high line? I never know. High or low. Fridge vent missing up there. But, uh, <laughs> so mid mid washroom by the looks of it. Here are uh, water points. Looks like there's a little garage. Is that, is that open? Oh yeah. Oh, so it's a lounge, isn't it? Tow bar. Reversing camera. Well, yeah, I suppose it's about yeah, it's, a, it's about our length, I suppose. Gas locker on the side. Very fairly sort of standard layout. Whale. Yeah, it's all whale fixtures, which I think they switched to, didn't they? Yeah, and we're at Yorkshire Motorhomes. It's on a 140 brake horsepower engine. Yeah, I'll have a look inside. Oh, there we go. What a nice lounge. Occasional table. Yeah, you've got the drop down telly. And all these lockers. <laughs> Loads of lockers. Microwave in the kitchen. Big sink. Huge sink. I suppose that helps with the workspace there, doesn't it? And full cooker. Oh, it's an it's an island bed. Uh, yeah, yeah. Where it f that folds up at the back, give you a bit more space. Does that mean a longitudinal bed? The LB. 
nice little mirror there. I think it's, Is it a bed that goes across like that? Though? No, this way. This way. Right. Longitudinal, oh, right. as opposed to transverse. I think that's what the LB stands for. Right, okay. I was thinking it was something to do with lounge. So you've got a shower in here. It's all right, it's up on a bit of a plinth. It's okay. And if I swing round, toilet here as well, which is pretty good. And wash basin. Yeah, that's all right. Cupboards either side. And the lecky point there, mirror. And a nice wardrobe at the back here. Yeah, so a wardrobe either side. More lockers. Either side. I still find it a bit of a struggle to get past there, even with it in the day position. You know, what you do at night, you just have to climb down the bed, I suppose. There. And the sunroof up there. It's quite a nice bedroom, but yeah. Yeah. Kitchen there. Pull out things. Yeah. No, it's alright. I don't think there's any travel seats with this. No, no it's just a straight two berth, isn't it? Yeah, I'd imagine this makes a bed with a bit of a cut off. I mean I like the I love these tables, you know. Really ought to do something. And it's just on a just bolted to the side here. But it just means you've got somewhere to put your coffee. Mm. I don't know if that's a standard fixture, but yeah. It's great great big sunroof up there, way up in the air. I mean, it really doesn't need to be that tall, but uh, I can hardly reach the roof. <laughs> no chance. No. That's good. Notice they've got a Heimermobile, a B544 here. So I'll have a little look at this. It's on a 1-2 plate, so it's just over 10 years old. A-class layout. Not, it's not too long, is it? No. Don't know how much it is. Forty-nine thousand. Go, son. Forty-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-five. It's one two. Cab door is on the passenger side. Yeah, let's look in the cab. Uh, it's uh, cloth seats. Those are, look very nice. Huge lounge. We'll have a look in that in a minute. Great big locker here. In the back. Do what? Sorry. Did you know you can get in the back? Did I know I can get in the back? Yeah. Yeah. You did, okay. <laughs> Just looking around the outside. <laughs> Pretty much thought it was a locker. <laughs> no. Uh, toilets on the back there. Twin reversing camera. Yeah. Let's have a look inside. Yeah, entrance door is on the back. Wow, you have a real feeling of space in here. Quite amazing. Yeah. You've got a massive table. There's no folding going on here at all. This feels like an airport waiting lounge. <laughs> it's huge. And you just sit here. Yeah. I mean, it's the thing about lounge, lounge seats like this, is it, you can make, obviously make them up into a bed, but they do give you so much lounging area. You've got the typical high my drop down bed at the front so you probably use that most of the time lockers here fancy wine cupboard there 
travel seats. A slightly older Avtex TV there. A bit of an oven going on here. An oven or a grill, I'm not sure which. No, it is oven grill. And uh, I'll figure these out. Oh, there you go. Freezer. Oh, I'll probably best if I come around that way. And fridge. We've still got a reasonable kitchen. I mean, it's not the biggest kitchen, is it? No, but you've only got that tiny oven, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I might put people, some people off who like a big oven. You've got to put that up before you can put this up. All right, okay. But if you only want to use two, I suppose that's quite good. Bit of extra workspace. Drawers here feel solid. You know, it always feels like a quality van, doesn't it, Heimer? I wonder if the Tamba door works. Oh, yeah. Look at that Tamba door that works. How hard can it be on a 10 year old van? A bench, bench toilet, cupboard at the back, big mirror, and I think this is a swing wall washroom type thing. Put that there. How do we do that? Oh, I don't know how we do that. I'm not going to do it, but I think that's the the sort of idea. Oh, which bit swings out? I think that it goes that way. But I won't try it. But yeah, that's good. Oh, lovely van. It's a massive wardrobe. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even go in there. Yeah, load of shelves here. Hold that. Yeah, load of shelves. Oh wow, <laughs> look at that, it's huge, wardrobe, oh, this is good, isn't it? Got storage under the floor? Yeah, underfloor storage, I imagine that might be just like a battery box or something, but you can see because the floor's like a false floor, you've got the tyre in there, tire. yeah, it's a bad tire. yeah, another one here, yeah, carries on. You see how deep that is. Yeah, you've got one on, you're on there. Oh, there's loads of them all the way along. Oh, are they? Yeah, all the way along. And presumably the outside lockers give you access to that. Two electric points, uh, lights there, no extractor fan, but uh, microwave in there. That's well concealed. Oh. Very good. I have a controls, sliding thingy doofer. Yeah, like this. Motor caravan using this pitch. <laughs> and hanging Sorry. space there. No, it's, it's. You like it? I like yeah. it, yeah. Yeah, no, it's a good layout. Yeah, and obviously with the A classes, you've got these coach style mirrors as well. Yeah, just looking at this. Uh, oh, it's ended up with Poppy then. <laughs> <laughs> it's an Eldis AutoQuest uh, 06 plate, so it's the same year our Starfire was. I think you found it very similar in size. Yeah, I think so. It's still 24,995. Yeah, no. Could have he held on to our Starfire. HDI 130. It's got a um, sort of semi-stable door, so you've got a, like a fly screen that you can put over. Yeah, different. So, yeah, yeah, bike rack. It's a very old-fashioned type construction, isn't it? Though you see the. These, with these rails and everything. So you could put an awning around there. That's all the caravan awning rail, isn't it? Yeah, so it's got a canopy awning on anyway. Yeah, yeah, uh, 45. Bipping, yeah. The what? Something's bipping. <laughs> Something's bipping? Yeah, you it's can't not... have the alarm the other way. All oh, right. Well, it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> Toilet's obviously in the back with a flush. The old uh, Truma cover. 
Remember those? Yeah. And forgetting to take them off and wondering why it wouldn't light. Yeah, that's right. And looks like someone's fitted a, a pump for the water there as well. Right, shall we have a look? It's had a bit of a whack on the side there, isn't it? You can tell this is aluminium skinned, but hardly notice. Might, be, make, might make someone a really good first van, this one. Bit of a project, maybe. Quite yeah, yeah. Two steps, didn't we? Two of the pull out steps. Two pull out steps, but that's okay. That works. And it's, oh, yeah, this is a really sort of, um, of, of its day, yeah. <laughs> the colour. Yeah. And it's a double dinette lounge. So imagine you can make this up into a huge bed. You've got all the sort of things to pull out. Travel seats there. So that's good. So it is a four, at least four seats. I don't know how many. Probably could have someone sleeping there. So maybe three both. Don't know. Oh no, there's another. <laughs> Look over here. Over cab bed here. So yeah, definite four berth. That's good. I presume that just sort of pulls out somehow. Right now oh, there's a catch there to hold it in place. No, I won't do that. <laughs> I remember that, that Sony. I think I had one like that. <laughs> it's a very familiar looking cab. Five speed manual. It's got some new carpets in the front. I think this has been retrimmed at some stage because these, these are immaculate. Table flap extension there. And here. And where? On that side as well? Okay. Yes. Okay, so you put that across there. Oh, that's good. A little bit of peeling on the uh, thing, but. Oh, it's 10 years old. No. Hang on. How is it? Four, four plus seven, isn't it? 17 years old. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, for a 17 year old van, it's not bad, is it? Nice, great big sunroof there. I only just spotted that. Huh. But yeah, very much like our old Starfire in layout. Big wardrobe over a traumatic yeah. <laughs> or traumatic it heater. Yeah. Oh yeah, the little hole there. down there. Spent many a night looking in there. And it's gone out again. <laughs> And four burner gas cooker. So that's like the cooker we had. Yeah. Great big. Oh, but I can hardly lift that. Oh. I, don't what, I don't know what you do with that once you lift it up. But yeah, this certainly brings back some memories. Oh, yeah. Same fridge, I think. Yeah, Dometic well, I think fridge. The same fridge we had in the Vista. Oh, it's the Vista it? fridge, is it? Yeah. yeah. But I thought it had like a. A thing to go in that hole over there to stop it. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Not there. But it has got a lock on it. Oh, it has got a lock. Huh? Yeah. No, I think that's just the swivel. You can have it swiveling the other way. Right. Oh, okay. The hinge. hinge. Pull out that's cutlery drawers. Yeah. Well, that's neat, isn't it? Is that cutlery as well? Uh, well, it's just a drawer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That's the, we had. <laughs> it's the same wallpaper. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Toilet looks good. And it's almost like the same vanity unit. They always used to have these like plastic ones with plastic cupboards on it. Sorry if you hear a bit of rustling. I've still got my coat on, so it does rustle a bit. Vent there, and they've got some curtains to go around. Keep your shower area. Yeah, no, it's good. Like that. That be your wardrobe. Oh, I just found where you put your chopping board. I think you put it in there. All oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Huge cupboards. Huge cupboards. A light of its day. So didn't we trade our Starfire in? For about that, about yeah. yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think so. So, if it had kept it, it would have been the same price, <laughs> <laughs> probably as we'd paid for it. Yeah. Paid 36, didn't we? 
Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, little lockers here. Oh, that's locked and gas locker. Yeah, signs blown over. Yeah, we can't, we can't get out, we'll have to stay here. Yeah. <laughs> we had a quick look at this yesterday. This is a Laker Krios L5009, 150,000 and 20 pounds. Well, why the bother with the 20 pounds? We had this conversation, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah. We could have made it 149,999 pounds. People would have thought, what a bargain. So it's, it's brand new, isn't it? so it's brand new, 4250. It's 2.9 metres high and it's 7.89 metres wide. It's actually only 2.3 metres wide. Lake Krios. It's named after the first dog in space. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Quite nice styling, but you've got this like great big panel here. Look at that. Mm. To sort of blend it in. Yeah, Italian, aren't they, Laker? Are they? I think so. Yeah, see that's the dog in space symbol. Huge garage. Oh yeah, you can walk in here. It's almost a walking garage. Yeah. Got tie downs in here. All sorts of vents in there. I'm not quite what's going on in there. Gubbin, gubbins in there somewhere. Oh yeah, some gubbins in here. Yeah, you've got electric points. T even a TV point here. But in the garage, yeah. I think they can put the bed up and down as well. This is unusual, isn't it? Like yeah, that. I just banged my head on that. You did. <laughs> I right. did. <laughs> Electric point there. Got these little lockers here. I don't know if they're locked. It's an A class, isn't it? No. Is it not? Oh no, it's not, is it? No. What am I talking about? Let's have a look and see if we can look around the outside. Enjoy the Dolce Vita. Quite a lot of lockers here. Access to the other side of the garage. There. And yeah, obviously there's going to be a reversing camera on there. Let's go and have a look inside. All right, pops. I'm just going to have a look inside, if they don't mind. Yeah. Oh wow. Well. Yeah. This is nice. Yeah, I'm not a fan of these L-shaped European lounges, but this is very well nice. Well, well nice. Turned into Mazzy, haven't I? That's well nice. <laughs> Leather seats, automatic. That's the new one. Touch screen controls. Don't see a rear view camera on there. I think that must be a must for me. This is one down there, I don't see that, no. Yeah. Sounds a bit bright. But yeah, look, very fancy looking locker things here. Yeah, very stylish. Yeah. The controls at a reasonable height. It's Truma though. It always surprises me when. Now, oh, wait a minute. No, that's the heater, isn't it? That's for the gas. The Truma, Tr Truma Duo C. So that's your crash protection thing. Not quite sure why we've got Alder as well. The, uh, the heating's Alder and water's Truma. I don't know. That seems a bit odd. Um, combi oven. It's thi oh, tiny, yeah, three burner. <laughs> Seems strange, doesn't it, in a van that costs £150,000 that you've got a tiny little oven. I suppose you're lucky to have an oven, aren't you, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sink's nice. Got, got one of the fancy schmancy... Um, <laughs> one of those. 
two electric points there. Yeah, no, it's nice. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. That's the double Dometic fridge. Yeah, with the don't use for anything heavy shelves. And a separate freezer compartment and fridge. Yeah. Let's have a look at the bathroom. Oh, the, sorry, the bedroom even. TV point up there. Lockers all around. A couple of steps up. I think these fold away. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I like this. Jenny will have to give it seal of approval in a minute. What have you got? Yeah, I think you've got to be careful here, haven't you? Pull that away. And then pull that out. Yeah. Okay. Loads of space in there. Don't know what that is. It's a temperature gauge or something. Or con control. Reading lights above the, the bed. Extra, uh, switches as well above the bed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This looks like this comes out. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, seals off the, the bedroom. Very nice. Right, washroom area. That closes. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's very modern looking, very stylish. be soft close. I like the mirrors in this bathroom, don't they? Because my hair looking straight. Oh, there you go, that's better. <laughs> Toilet there. Now if I swing round, somehow. Okay. <laughs> Looks like it's all wooden, but I suppose that's a, yeah, it's an effect, isn't it? Plastic effect, but it's got one of these Huge things that meant to drown, drown you, I think. Quick way of using up all your water. But yeah, very stylish. Yeah. You want to have a look in, Jane? Uh, drop down bed here, I think. I don't know if it's electric. Yeah, it is electric drop down bed so that would come down all the way over there yeah it's a 4250 you know that don't yeah you? yeah c1 license yeah. required for this yeah yeah so this one's got the eight, 180 brake horsepower automatic transmission metallic black cab front fog lights with cornering super chassis pack super living multimedia pack summer living pack Comfort air conditioning, four and a half meter awning, uh, two 120 solar panels, and a 350 watt inverter, Da Vinci pack, <laughs> electric drop down bed, tactable TV stand in lounge, Grand Chef kitchen coffee machine, external gas point. That's amazing bathroom, isn't it? I mean, centre bath is that can be that big. Yeah. With a nice big square shower. And yeah. Plenty of room in the uh, yeah. toilet there. No, it's got a coffee good. machine in there, I didn't spot that. Coffee machine? Yeah, probably up in the top there. I think it probably sits there. And All right. No. Yeah. No. Got loads of packs on it, this one. Is it? Yeah. Amazing tap. Yeah, a little shower type tap, isn't it? Oh, nice. A tiny oven. 
<laughs> I can't get out of the oven. <laughs> yeah, well, you've got microwave as well. Yeah, I suppose so. I suppose you don't really need anything more than that in a van. I mean, it does seem a bit overkill grill an oven, doesn't it? Yeah. Even in hours. Do I lift it Press down on one side. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so all of, a lot of these continental vans have this underfloor storage everywhere. You can see they've got hatches yeah. everywhere. Yeah, yeah. 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 Because it's a plain, some of them have got that, and it looks a bit weird because the floor sometimes doesn't match. But no, that's right. It's just a plain grey. Yeah, just a plain grey, isn't it? Yeah. But I mean, obviously, I think I'd have carpets there as well. Yeah. Yeah. The table doesn't look too big either. No. It's just Do. A bit. I suppose it is it. Yeah, it'll move, yeah. Moves. Yeah. Be surprised if it didn't, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a very solid table. Yeah. Until all that water comes in, isn't it? Yeah. I mean this I mean it looks I I don't know, it looks a little bit more plasticky than ours. I don't know if it's just the colour. But uh, it's all zipped up at the sides, unlike ours where you've got like a gap at the bottom held on with a bit of Velcro. Mm. It's very similar to ours in the layout. Yeah, feels like a different, it feels like a thinner material, you know, but yeah. I don't know. Might be wrong, it might be more waterproof. Yeah, so move like T two R low line. We we're, we're midline, aren't we? Uh, yeah, midline. So, yeah. Seven two nine. I think we bought ours with about five hundred, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Yeah, it's all right though. That's good awning. It's lasted well, hasn't it, ours? Yeah, apart from this business of. Yeah. Side that's got the Velcro on it that yeah. Pops up and but like I say, that it. that's the biggest improvement they yeah, could have made. Is, right. that, is allowing that bit to to yeah, zip I up. They had last time, but it was only on one side, wasn't it? Oh, it's, it's on both sides now, is yeah, it? Yeah, it's down there as well. Oh, is that a bit higher, isn't it, or something? Yeah, that comes up a bit higher. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Water gets in here and yeah. Well, I don't think you'd have that problem with this, would you? Okay. So this is an Isabella that's fixed to a roll-out canopy. Yeah. Is that what Trevor and Sue have got? No. No, they've got something a bit a bit simpler. Oh, I don't know though. No, he did say he'd got an Isabella. I haven't seen it yet. No. no. Whether it is this one. It's all right. <laughs> you said it was easy to set up. So is it? Is this the one they've got? Might be. Might be. He said there were some poles that you put in. So a bit like the old privacy room, you put some poles in either side. Yeah. Obviously, this is your canopy, mm. and it's just three sides, and should be easy to remove. Buddy, that might be it. Yeah, I think it is. And you can zip out the sides. Forward to see what that's like then. How much is it? You buy a panel set, 1139. You buy it at the show for, uh, with £60 saving. Okay. Yeah, we'll look to see what that's like in operation then. Yeah, no, I'll get, I'll get it now. And that one there? That, the what, sorry? It's got its own roof, hasn't it? That one what we're talking about? Yeah, oh, that, no. yeah that's a that's not like more a traditional one. Yeah, that's not an Isabella, yeah. though. I think that's yeah, it is this one. He said it's got these flaps here which you can tighten to stop the drafts coming down the side. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, I remember now. Yeah. Because so, that's always a problem with the driver way, as you sit in there and all the drafts come round the, the outside. Mm. Well, no, but you can. The idea is it's easy to detach, and then you, you, you take these poles down, take the sides off, yeah. 
and off you go again. Thanks, right. Pops. Yeah. <coughs> All right, bored with that then. Go on. <laughs> Accessories here. It seems different when it's uh, open, doesn't it? So, and so I just signed up for the big win play to help beat dementia. What was it four, four twenty-five a month? Four pound thirty-four. Four pound thirty-four a month, and you can win prizes. So that's got to help a good cause, isn't it? And we're here all weekend. And he's here all weekend. So thank you.